Morning, Frank and Jessica. This is what we know so far. We know that the sheriff is supposed to testify, as you mentioned, under oath in front of the inspector general, but it's a closed door virtual meeting happening at 10 o'clock this morning here at the Hall of Administration in downtown LA. They're talking about alleged deputy gangs. Now, as we talk about this, of course, there are major accusations on the table right now that gang like clusters of deputies worked within the sheriff's department for years. His attorney says the sheriff was ordered to do so after the second district court of appeals threw out his subpoena challenge. That subpoena was made by Inspector General Max Huntsman, whose office oversees the sheriff's department. Villanueva has called the subpoena's political theater and harassment. September last year, he testified but was cut short by the Inspector General when Villanueva refused to answer under oath. Last month, a Superior Court judge ordered Villanueva to comply and testify within 21 days. Today's interview will be done behind closed doors. It's a private meeting with the Chief Deputy Inspector General, who is a former gang prosecutor. The Inspector General said in a report that there are at least 18 deputy gangs, including the executioners and banditos, and that the groups encourage aggressive tactics, celebrate violence, excessive use of force against minorities, and resist police reform. Now, a watchdog group claims the gang-like groups even have tattoos, hand signals, and act like street gang members. LASD members and leaders, well, they've argued that uh, deputies in drinking groups, sports teams, and social clubs don't promote criminal activity, rather stronger trust and friendship. Now, this is part of an ongoing battle as Sheriff Villanueva accused the Board of Supervisors of siding with defund the police activists and believes they were upset he didn't enforce their COVID mandates. A new law approved by the board gave L.A. County's personnel director the right to fire or punish workers and not department leaders like the sheriff. Villanueva stated that that puts roughly 4,000 sheriff's employees in danger while crime and homeless problems continue to skyrocket. Back out here live, since that is a private closed-door meeting being held virtually, we know that partial transcripts will be released at a later date, of course, with uh, non-confidential information. Reporting live here in downtown L.A., Gene Kang, KTLA 5 News.